but for you, I'm Lawson and this is Jade. Coming up, we'll be talking to Pam from the Global Action Plan to find out why we need to reduce energy. Also, we'll be meeting an eco team who will be sharing ideas around daily activities. But first, we popped in on Joe Allison to see how an advisor can help reduce our bills. So on the box it says oh, you can save up to 20% of your energy bills and it works best when you've got kids. I've learned um, what appliances use more electricity than others. Um, not to keep things on standby because it can take up to £40 a year. So that's saying that at the moment it's nine pence per hour. You can sort of see how you, it starts to build up if everyone's got Wii's and yeah. Xboxes and things. Lights and... Uh, and then obviously the, the cooker as well, so just trying to aim to make sure you just use that as little as possible and, 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 and as short as possible. Yes, I was aware, but not as much as I'm aware now on how much things cost. means that you definitely haven't left anything upstairs and you can get your kids to make sure you can sit 0.4 as well. Can I stop my children from leaving things on? Well, keep reminding them to switch lights off, which they don't. Uh, switch their games off, their consoles, their computers, buy the plug when they're not in use. Hello, I'm Lawson. And hello, I'm Malé. Um, what's your name then? My name's Tom. Where do you work? I work for a charity called Global Action Plan. Where is that? Uh, well, I work, I'm doing a lot of work in Birmingham at the moment and in Wolverhampton and other places around the Midlands. Um, what do the Global Action Plan do? Well, we help people to save energy at home, to save water at home, looking at different ways of, of being better for the environment. So we work with businesses, we work with, with communities, with people. How do you actually help them? What we do, we help people to look at where they use electricity in the home, where they use gas, where they use water, and to try and work out about how much they use. And then to look at really simple steps, things that they can do in their own homes to save. So you help them with their energy bills? Yeah, we help them with energy bills, help them with water bills. So partly it's doing things that are better for the environment, but also looking at ways of saving money. Well, do you know how parents can get children involved? Parents can help children by helping them to understand where electricity is used in the home because often children can help by switching things off when they're not in use or looking at if, if things are getting too hot in their room. Are there any young people working where you work? Yes, we've got a, quite a lot of people who are about 16 who are doing a big project with us at the moment, helping their communities to save energy. So you help young people kind of get a better understanding? Yeah, yeah, we help people to learn about the environment, to learn what they can do and to show other people what they can do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having the time to come. Thank you for the questions. We also spent the afternoon with Bernie, the sustainability officer from Optima, who can explain a range of ways Optima can help. Hello, I'm Lawrence. And I'm Lawson. Hello, I'm Bernie. What is your role? I'm a sustainability officer for Optima Community Association. What is a sustainability officer? It means I'm re responsible for environmental management, anything to do with eco issues, green issues, saving money off your energy bills, that kind of thing. What is this device? This is all bits of equipment that Optima can lend people or give people to use to help them save money in their homes. So for instance, a shower timer, which this is, it's a four minute shower timer, it's like an egg timer basically. And if you have one minute less in your shower, uh, it can save you about five pounds a year. So if you think about that added to other things we've got here, it could save you lots of money off your energy bills. Also, if you to fill one of these in, which you get given with the shower timer, it also means that uh, you could enter a prize draw for 50 pounds worth of energy saving kit as well. Well, for an energy monitor particularly, it plugs into your electricity supply. It clips onto the wires coming out of your meter. So if you see your meter there, your fuse box in your meter, the wire's there. It clips on like that. So you have a bit like this, clips around the wire. That plugs into this section here, just at the bottom there. Okay, and that bit stays with your meter. 
and it sends a signal through this wireless device here. Every time you put an appliance on, like your cooker or your kettle or something like that, it'll come up and show you how much it's, your cost, it's costing you to use. We can come out and visit people in their homes. We can um, do energy advice surgeries where people can come in and speak to expert advisors. Or we can come out to people's homes with an individual and give them expert tailored advice to their home. Lots of people are worried about their bills at the moment because energy prices are going up and up and up. They have been for a few years and they're going to continue to go up in the future. So lots of people are really worried about paying their bills, uh, particularly with cold winter being predicted and prices going up. So we can help by giving people bits of kit, inviting them to come to an energy surgery or by giving them advice in their homes. Most people know what they pay in their own home but they don't know how to compare it with anybody else so by getting together with your neighbours and finding out ways to save more money you can realise sometimes you're wasting money. For instance if you had to leave your TV or your Xbox on um, you can save waste about £40 a year just by leaving things on standby. If you get in contact with me we can get you some light bulbs or any of the other kit. The monitors we just lend on a temporary basis for about three months because the sort of shock factor when you first have one wears off after a month or so um, so we lend it to the next person after that so they can learn how to save. How do you save water as well as other things? You can save water through having one minute less in your shower or if you have a toilet that's suitable you can use things like a cistern hog which one of these is. You can put them into your toilet cistern and it swells up and it displaces the water in the cistern and helps you reduce the amount of water that you use. But you can also use a brick if it's suitable for the type of toilet that you've got. Thank you for your information, it's been very useful. Workshop. Turn them all on, how much oh. electricity they would use. Like. But I reckon that, those are the eyes. Yeah. What impact does going around these houses have? Uh, it seems to have quite a, a big impact. It's a good way of uh, raising awareness amongst the people, about, against, amongst residents, about the different uh, electricity usage of different appliances in the home. And I think the, uh, the, the way it's set out in, in a game is a really good way of sort of making people realise how much electricity certain things like showers and TVs uh, and mobile phone charges use. Put that. Put that. Put that. Put that. Put that. Put that. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's right. No. Yeah, yeah. We learned what, ta what takes the highest voltage in the things that we use every day. And so from now on we shall have to cut it down a little bit. Have you enjoyed what you learned? Today? I have le enjoyed what I've learned, yes. And it's very nice of you to come and show us. How much electricity that this uses. How can we stop wasting all this money on electricity? I think it's just about people realising about uh, what, what uses what and being more aware that they should use less. And you know, it doesn't mean they have to change their lifestyles massively. It just means they need to be more aware that you know they don't need to spend 20 minutes in the shower. They can they need to only spend sort of five, or they need to make sure they're not leaving TV on all day or, or, or electric heaters on all day, because ultimately it's costing money, and these bills are constantly going up. I'm going to use try and use yes, less yes, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. T try and save money. As you know, this is our very first episode. So please visit facebook.com forward slash Optima Community Associations and tell us what you think. Coming up in our next episode, we will be talking about fire safety around your home. We've really enjoyed making this episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. That's all from the Reports for You news team. Until next time, that's goodbye from us.